for you. A young woman with special needs gets accused of shoplifting from a local Walmart. And despite pleas from her family that she can't understand what's going on, police throw Jody Cosme to the ground and handcuff her. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo has the video of this disturbing incident, and it will shock you. Also, Heather has the 911 call that shows police were told from the start about Jody's special needs. Heather, what's going on here? Well, Jody Cosmo was accused of stealing these hair ties that cost less than $5. And even though Jody never stole anything, her family says the way police handled Jody that day totally broke her trust in them. Jody Cosma loves music. I don't mind spending every day. And singing. And her parents say she's extremely friendly and trusting. But Jody is not your typical 25 year old. She had a birth defect that left her with mental impairment and a very low IQ. That's why Jody's parents, Wendy and John, always make sure a family member is with her. And if she were ever separated from them, they taught her to find a police officer for help. But what happened to Jody has left her terrified of the police. I was disgusted. Um, I knew that that would affect her for the rest of her life. Jody's nightmare all started with a shopping trip with her grandmother and cousin inside a Livonia Walmart and ended up with Jody being thrown to the ground, handcuffed, and in tears. Walmart store security cameras were watching Jody's every move on a Friday in August of 2012. Jody's grandma allows Jody to shop for herself a bit, always keeping in contact by cell phone from a few aisles away. After Jody chooses a set of hair ties that cost $3.87, Jody and her grandma check out and head toward the parking lot. But before they can exit the store, two large men approach Jody and accuse her of shoplifting. It turns out they are Walmart asset protection staff in plain clothes. But Jody's mom says Jody thought they were trying to abduct her. At the time she called me, um, the only thing she told me was that a man was trying to take her out of the store. Even though Jody's grandma repeatedly tries to explain to Walmart that Jody has special needs, Jody's mom says no one would listen. They had no interest in looking at her bag, looking at the receipt, nothing. Hi, um, this is uh, Walmart North. We have a shoplifter that isn't cooperating. A Walmart staffer called Livonia Police, and the Cosma family thought everything would be sorted out. My mom said, Jody, the police are on their way. They're going to be, it's going to be okay, honey. And so the total opposite happened. Four police officers enter the store. One of them pushes Jody's cousin away from her. The other three surround Jody and tell her to put her hands behind her back. They went to cuff her without telling her, without explaining, without talking her through anything. And then when she was taught, as we told her, don't touch me, don't touch me, her hands went up and they threw her to the ground and got on top of her. She thought she was going to die. Minutes later, Wendy arrives, but she says a Livonia sergeant won't let her near her daughter, who's now detained in a small room. And I told them that her IQ was very low and that I was her guardian and that it was the equivalent of holding an eight-year-old without representation and I needed to be by her side. Wendy Cosma says the sergeant claimed they were never told that Jody is mentally impaired. The 911 call to Livonia police tells a different story. Are they detained right now? No, we can't detain her, and she's claiming that she's special needs. She's not complying at all. And uh, you did catch that she's special needs, right? Eventually, Wendy is allowed to be with Jody. She shows the officers Jody has nothing hidden on her body, and she says the officers start to realize Jody hasn't stolen hair ties or anything else. This is what we're all about here. Attorney Deborah Gordon says after the Cosmas could not get an apology from Livonia Police or Walmart, they decided to file this lawsuit. They took somebody akin to an eight-year-old and, and treated her this way, and she had done absolutely nothing wrong. John and Wendy say Jody still has nightmares and breaks down crying because she doesn't understand why this happened. And as part of their lawsuit, they're demanding that the Livonia Police Department be trained in how to manage people with mental impairments. These are our weakest citizens. And for something like this to happen to our weakest citizens is just, again, outrageous.
A Walmart spokeswoman told me that they have not seen the lawsuit yet, but they are looking into the allegations. As for Livonia, their city attorney told us in a written statement that the police officers did not know if Jody Cosma had a weapon, and because she responded, quote, violently to their efforts to detain her, they used basic techniques to handcuff Jody. The city attorney says their officers acted calmly and appropriately. Of course, the family very much disagrees mm -hmm. with that, saying that if they just tried to kind of calm everybody down and have a conversation, it could have been sorted out much differently. If they had just listened, and you know, you got to think maybe laws could change where someone with special needs could have something to show or to flash that they have special needs so they can get special consideration, you know? Yeah, it immediately panicked her, and, and obviously things just unfolded from there. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is uh, definitely worth following. I mean, there's something's going to happen at Walmart and uh, Livonia police both on the uh, hook for something here. We'll at, keep the, you at the very least, an apology. Yeah. That's what they would, Jody would like an apology.